which is about very much about basics of pointers so in this what we try to learn is about see how the memory and pointers work so let's see so the code has started so we have two functions which are do math 1 and do math 2 so they take two numbers and then they do the multiplication addition and subtraction of both of them and they try to so we try to use those results that are carried by the function so but the thing is that when we just pass by value in this function do math 2 so it doesn't reflect here in the print or the output but when we do it with do math 1 where we pass the references of some difference and product so then these values get changed here and those are reflected at this point in the function so let's try to see why this happens so we start the code so initially so after the first line a is 10 b is 5 sum and product and difference are some uninitialized values which will now become zero after the initialization we go into step into the function do math 2 so now it has copies of n1 is copy of a n2 is copy of b we have s d and p so let's see what happens so s d and p are calculated here and what happens is that we go further we do print do math one sum difference and product we try to print and we see the output but we see that even after the changes that were made in do math 2 for some difference and product it's still printing zero which is not good and uh, not that we wanted so we now go into the next function do math 1 and here s d and p are now they are pointers which have the memory location of some difference and product so what we do is now we put a d reference and in the value that is stored at memory location of s we now put the sum of the two numbers n1 and n2 similarly at D, which stores the memory location of difference we calculate the value n1 minus n2 and store at P which stores the memory location of product so there we do n1 into n2 and store come back and print it and we see the result so now its sum is 15 difference is 5 and product is 50 so this was made possible with the help of printf statements so that is the most important thing we learned so one more good thing is that if you have to find change values of more than one or you want results which are more than one then you need to pass those values by reference because you can only return just one value in c so that's why it's important and this ends the lecture on